Let's go paint a fox. Michelle Manriquez from Drop That Brush, and I want to help people who are non-artists become artists. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Today we're going to work on a red fox. The picture was taken by Lynette Legged Holder, and I really appreciate her putting that out so we could paint this. He's a beautiful little fox. Really fun. Let me tell you about animals. All right, if you're an artist and you do oils or acrylics or um, pencils, you can get every little fine hair. It's not my thing. I'm just, you don't have to. Your eyes will know what they're seeing without having to do that. Here's what you need to know though. What you need to do is you do the edges. If the edges look like fur, your brain just says, oh yeah, that's fur. That's, that, yeah, that's a fox. It, it doesn't require you to do every, unless you just really like to, and I'm not my thing. Um, but, so simply, we're gonna do the edges of the fur. A no tan means black and white. Here in this picture, you'll see that there's a, that shape goes in and out through the back, over the head, loops into the tail. It's just a beautiful, beautiful picture. What you don't want to have is spots of dark. Then it's going to be a much more difficult picture. So what you actually really want, if you're a beginner, you really want something that has good lights, good darks, and hopefully everything tied together. Let's talk about the color we're gonna use, I used four colors and one fun one. <laughs> I always have to have a fun one. You know, just for a little pop here and a pop there. I used Aussie Red Gold, Red Oxide, and Permanent Brown, and AM Grams, and Throw Quino thing. I got a video about that. Great, great color. I love it. I've gotten rid of ultramarine blue. Totally got rid of it, and I'm using this. It's love it, love it, love it. Very dark. Gets dark scrape. Just beautiful. And it makes pretty grass color, too. Can't beat that. I used my Aussie Gold for my light values. My medium values, I used transparent red oxide. Then on the dark values, I used permanent brown. And then I added in a really, really dark darks. I used uh, that weird blue with the a, a name. What the hell is it called? Oh, I have it here. Athroquinin. And so then I used the blue to darken the brown, so I got a really dark, dark color. And then for my fun color, I just did a little pop of uh, Don Andrews. In Facebook, drop that brush, and in the description below, there will be the value painting, or the value study, the picture, and the drawing. You can paint with me. So let's do this together. Well, the first thing I'm looking for is where are my whites? Because I'm gonna to try to avoid my white. Um, I know that this is a white area and then this is darker, but I'm gonna leave that. Maybe I'll soften some of that. Maybe I'll just soften it right out because it doesn't need to be that important, right? I'm gonna put it a little more dark here. That is so vibrant. Okay, I'm just going to take a tap of that. Okay, I'm going to 
soften this entirely out. I just don't want it to be hard. I don't want it to be important because that's at the end. I want him to, your focus to be here. Let's do this shape. Everything except for the white areas, which will be here, underneath, here, here. I can just add that in. It won't hurt anything at the moment. Let's see. There needs color here. I'm just going to go back and forth. We can tighten it up later, but for the now, I'm just trying to get color. Pretty much any color, but I'm not real picky. Oh, wait a minute. That's supposed to be white. Ah. Okay, that's fine. No problemo. I'm going to throw some dark right there and just kind of bleed it in, let it do its thing. I can come back through and put darker or if I need to more dark. Fun. Now I'm going to flip this over. I'm trying to make him have look like she has uh, hair kind of standing up. So I'm going to put water here. I even am going to probably just go ahead and let some of that just glow into it. I like that. All right. It doesn't have to be. I can come back and tighten it up. It's always easy to tighten it up. So I'm just kind of in and out, in and out. I'm just letting it kind of do its own thing. And then I have this darker area, so I'm going to go back to that permanent brown. here. And I'm going to put this here since I'm right there and throw some of that dark here. I can see here it gets lighter much more like this so I'm gonna kind of shove that in and I'm gonna make sure that it's moving around I'm not just gonna leave it there and so I'm shoving it into and I'm kind of pushing my brush in the same way that I'm moving so it the way it, where the hair is going If I mix this and this, it'll give me a darker. If I get a little darker, and then I'm going to keep moving around. So I'm going to use this right here, a little more darker, vibrant. And I'm quickly putting it on. I'm not just, no playing, no playing here. It just melt in. So pretty. Okay. Oh, I like how that moved and did nice things. Okay, I like that. Um, I think I want it a little lighter though. Let me pop a little lighter color here. Okay. Okay, now we come back to. Well, let me see this and this. Now I know it gets darker in the middle, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that in a little darker. Put a little color here. I can again, I'm kind of leaving the gaps. I really don't care that it's a little dark. There it works. So there's this shape right here, comes here, comes here and comes here. 
And I'm actually really working that shape. That's kind of what I wanted to make sure I get. And I'm gonna throw in a little, a little blue to make it a little harder. Now, he has much more bright here. Gonna just do a little splatter right there because it has a different color. And then over here, it's, this would be close more like that. These darks are really dark right here. So I'm gonna really pop it in. Underneath, it's kind of not as dark. In fact, I'll put a little lighter. I can always come back and darken it later if I need to. get this other eye. I think it moved in more than I wanted it to. little movements um very dry brush stroke i just want that feeling of you know we have the dark which i'm going to mix with those colors which give me a nice dark for the moment i'm just going to go ahead and um put the nose in just so i know what's going on i think i'm missing part of that I think I, the drawing, I think I missed part of that. Check that out. Okay, because here there's a little line. And then there's another little line. And there's another piece of the mouth. Check that. Well, to note. Okay, so let's do a little splash. This, we don't have to make this too boring. I know I'm gonna to have to come back and do something with that, but for the moment, it's okay. All right, so this is very light. We're gonna come back. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did over there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some water. And then I'm gonna grab a little of this and do some little tightening. There seems to be some lights and darks right here. And I'm just gonna kind of move it in and out and pretend like I'm, you know, I'm just doing a shape. And some of it's a little thicker and some of it's a little thinner. There's this little bit of white. I'm gonna try to leave that alone. get this, I have this really light color. I'm assuming this just kind of goes off to the boom docks. I'm not really worried about that. Just put some color in, go in and out of the uh, then there is a some really soft, and I'm just gonna go in and out, I think. There, that works. Now it's gonna get darker. Okay, then I've got this dark light. And I'm just going to 
go through the where the grass is and I'm not being perfect I mean you know this is just for fun I want to have a good time I don't know about you guys but I just want to have fun and this I like having fun I'm gonna throw in some um, that get some of the grass going here at the same time so it kind of mixes together so let's do this how would make a good grass uh, let's use this and that see what we got that'll work actually it is quite lighter so I think I'm gonna pull some a few of these out as I'm doing it because it doesn't get too, it's pretty light. And this may mean I may have to come back through and um, I'm gonna go a little lighter. I think I've got too dark here. So let's do this, there we go. And then I'll make it darker as I'm coming down. Go ahead and throw some grass in the top. I'm just gonna add some color and some movements. So I'm doing pretty good as far as getting a limited palette, no problem. Easy peasy. Well, it has interesting personality. I'm not sure if I like it or not, but let's just chill. We haven't finished everything. I think this is going to have to be a little more warmth. Let's see, I'm gonna mix these two. Let's get a couple of, um, you know, ins and outs, because right now it's still, and make sure that I've got some movement. I'll use this this uh, green. Let's see if I can get a in particular right here. I wouldn't mind have a little bit of uh, of movement right here because it so there was lights, there was darks. So it kind of did its own thing. This would probably be a little little light curia there, even though it says white. I, it needs to break that up. There's a little piece of area that just happens to be a little white. I'm going to pick that back up. It doesn't have to be horribly white. It just needs to be a little white. And I'm going to use that, doing a light one, um, to kind of say that whiskers. I'm trying to see if I can get it here. And I think if I can, I'm gonna try. If it doesn't work, that's okay. But I'm gonna see if I can make, shh, I'm gonna do it some amount um, of uh, dry brush strokes. And see if I can get, and that's a little harder, but you know, it's kind of fun. We'll see how it goes. Okay. And I'm gonna do it here too. I'm gonna tighten up some of the uh, the eyes and stuff. That'll make a huge difference. So I'm gonna use this one and that one. Gives me a nice, nice dark. So they act, he actually looks like he has it almost uh, green eyes. So I'm gonna, just for fun of it. Be 
because I decided now I'm gonna add another color, I got to do something here too. Otherwise, it won't look right. All right, so let me just fix that a little bit. Alrighty, already ready. His nose. like it, I'll change it, but I think it would look nice. And we have to soften it. It's not a hard edged. So let me fix that. And I would allow it to just go ahead and blend in a little bit. Not worry about it. have to come back through and put that in but for the moment I'm okay with that one. I just want to get the dark in so um, you recognize, oh yeah, that's an eye. <laughs> Look at that. this because in reality it is a little more shadowed it's probably more prettier than it actually is but I like it so you know that works right across there and goes to the next eye. So it kind of shoots here, 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 and it just kind of goes across, right? You guys see it? And then he loops over here and hooks on. We have the dark, dark, dark around the eye. soften this because I really don't understand what's going on with the eye and if I need to go and understand probably you won't either let me soften a little bit let's get this attached this shape and this shape that goes here and this goes here and it starts to get lighter and it kind of goes walks our way up to the ears Soften that edge. I 
don't like this hard edge, that space, because you know, it's really soft, actually. So I'm gonna soften it up. Let's work on this side. I don't like this. I'm gonna pull out some little bit of line work so it's not so hard. I don't like it now. I don't know if it's even gonna let me. It ain't gonna let me. Okay, so now we're gonna try a different way. We're going to make this shoot in and out because right now you can't see it. So you actually see it. And I really don't know what's going on here, but I think I'll just do this and leave it alone because it doesn't matter. Am I, am I hurting something? Am I causing problems with it? I'm gonna make it a little darker, even more here, there. So that I can see that there is, the tail is right here is what I'm looking for. And even though it's not like that in the picture, I'm making it that way. There is a definite turn right here. And I'm going to make this darker yet. There's definitely going to be a much darker around the face. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. soften it so I don't get hard edges. I want a hard edge there where it seems like it is uh, going into it. I think I'm gonna come back through and I'll just pull things out. This is very dark. I know that there's a foot or something there, but I have no idea what it is. So I am just not going to worry about it. I need to move this in and out more, more clearly. Because right here, it goes in it just kind of melts in. And I think what I'll do here is just go woof, soften it. Okay, let's work on this ear. So there's this shape and it gets lighter, darker, kind of moves around. So I'm just gonna work on the darks using the same colors. So I'm gonna go, okay, it goes from here and then there's some here and I'm just kind of moving it right here softening an edge pulling it out a little bit right here. Now let's do a little a little dance of the I can come back through when it's a little drier or I can squeeze maybe I can do it now. I'll get a little thicker and I'll make just a few ins and outs that's real obvious that I'm now I need something I think I'm gonna use a little green right here that shows that that is part of the ear. I don't mind if that just kind of moves out, but I would like to be able to see that there's an ear there. So that's cool. I got a little too excited. Try this again. It's easy enough to pull it out while I'm working on it. So this continues onward and it goes here, 
kind of loops over here. There's a white spot, which I totally missed. Look at that. Let's pull that back out. Pull that back. I left it over there. So that was good. I still want to soften it and kind of mix it. I don't want it to be dark, white, 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 white. Now I did this kind of a background in the back. I think I'm going to do some here on this side too, just for the same reason so that there is, um, oh, what's the word? Continuity. I don't just don't want it to be, and I don't want it to be important on the edges anyway. So I will just kind of soften it back in on the quarters which is fine, and I'll just soften it out with some water. I still feel that I'm not getting a, a dark enough dark, so I'm gonna really roll that dark, dark, dark right here. If I, I and I can do it because it is um, wet, but I am actually using really thick paint. His nose. I think I overshot his nose. So I'm going to come here and I'm just going to quickly pull it back out, put a little color onto it, let that dry, but I can see that this should have came down further. That was a whoopsie. Actual, I don't know what I don't exactly know what they are, but they're kind of little shapes of dark amongst light, and so I'm just going to add little shapes. There's this little area, and it's really obvious, it kind of sticks up. So I'm going to pull that out and I'm going to go around it. And so I'm just looking for a shape. I'm just trying to get the shape. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. I swear. You will not, nobody's going to yell at you if you did it wrong. So I'm still kind of, kind of trying to do an outline about that tail a little bit. I don't want to outline outline, but you know, just to make sure that you guys know that I'm doing the tail. Now I'm going to come through here. I want a little brighter. Here, I'm going to pull some out. Just looking for the shapes, and it kind of comes out right here. I messed up the shape of that nose, and that's never good. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. All I'm doing is just shoving uh, 
uh, wet brush and kind of moving it around. So I'm trying to get the way it's supposed to go. Sometimes I didn't get the total movement. So what do I need? Well, I like, I like that. I'm, I kind of like that. Okay, so I'm looking, I'm squinting. Okay, is this dark? Yes, that's dark, yes. These are dark. It could be a little dark, more dark here it looks like. want more definition on the grass because truly on the picture there's a lot of definition I know I don't want it on the edges so I'm going to soften it and hope it just kind of melts in I, maybe I need more definition right here to get some ins and outs let me work on that so if your focus is here I want you to get more info here so, so I'm going to do actual, a little more line work than I would otherwise. But I won't do it everywhere. I'll just do it in the area that I want you to focus on. So right there, I did a little bit more detail there. I like that. get this okay it goes this it turns goes this way and then it turns so I think I don't didn't get enough let me go this side to make sure I'm good looking for the shapes trying to make sure the shapes look good there are a couple of little line works I'm not sure what they are but I'm just gonna throw those in the little details on the face. I think it's probably their whiskers. His whiskers? What do you think? There's a little, I want a little more. There's a little shape right here as it comes down. I should have left more of the white. I think I got excited. And I think I need to get some of this more white. I'm gonna see if I can soften it from this end. If I can't, it's not the end of my world. I don't think this is gonna work, but I'm just gonna try a little bit. This kinda helps. just little details what do I need what do I make it say to make it say what I want it to say is it done is this does it all I need do I need anything else you know you, you, you know you've got to think about how much do I need is it say Fox I think it says Fox I don't know what do you think I think I lost some of this and I'm gonna pull these out. I think there's a couple of areas, just a couple that I could have, would have been better if I had just left it open. And so I'm just gonna clean that up just a tad.
I wonder if I need a little more dark still to pop out that. Because I want you to make sure that you could see that tail. I got that tail enough that I will. All right, when I start going, oh, I'm going to do this and do that, normally that's a bad thing. I don't know if you guys caught that, but I'm getting close to I have to stop. shapes. I got most of it. It's a little crooked, but I've decided, doesn't, does it hurt anything? Does it say, oh no, that's awful. <laughs> Let's put a little more color. I say done. You know, I could spend hours playing or I could say, okay, it looks like a fox. I did good. I'm okay wait I'm still having an issue with a shape it's driving me crazy all right it goes this got way too um, bossy I done? I do have this one little shape underneath the eye. I wouldn't mind putting that in there just because. Or get in trouble. Now I've done dogs before, but this is my first fox painting. Very cool, very fun. I did it within about an hour and a half. I'm really happy with it came out mostly. I'm thinking maybe it would have been nice if I'd used some of that blue in the sky to, to pop out the fox more. Eh, you know, live and learn. I'm practicing. I want to show you an idea when you are done with your painting, in particular if you don't like something, take a picture of it, go back to Notarizer, and look and see how it looks. So here is my painting under the Notarizer. Here is using the Notarizer of the picture. They're not bad. I'm reasonably close, and I'm happy with that. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it just gives you an idea that you're following that dark shape. And if you got the shape right, all the rest of it comes together. You can paint with me. Look, go down there in the description, and you have a link for the picture, the value study, and the drawing. You can do this. When you get it done, go on Facebook, drop that brush, and show me your painting, all right? Many people find feathers and fur kind of difficult, in particular if you are a uh, realistic painter. I am an impressionist. I, like, the people are smart enough to figure out what's going on. If I give a little detail, they figure it out. So, yeah, I, 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 I should have dropped the brush a couple times. And you can see, when, I, when, I, when I'm putting that up top and the little thing, drop the brush, drop the brush. I can see myself. Drop the brush. Michelle, you should drop the brush. Why didn't you drop the brush? So you know what? We all do it. But it does help if it's in your head. If you don't know what you're doing or you're having a problem or you're just working it, working it, working it, drop that brush. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. You have a wonderful week. Bye.